You coded this? Yeah. With the help with, from some people in chat yesterday and some help from ChatGPT, but everything is basically fully functioning. Obviously, there's a, a lot more, like a lot, a lot more that we can do. But for right now, we have basically login, log out, sign up. Um, you can open your starter pack. You can open however many packs you want. You can look at your collection to see all your packs or sorry, see all your players. I've had some different ideas about how I want to do the players and some different ideas of uh, making each player more special or each card more special. Um, and I'll get to that with you guys. I don't know what you guys think in terms of here. I'll, let me log into my, my into my team. So right now, what we have is obviously your username, what level you're at. I just have everyone at level one. And then it's just going to show you your top five players. So the top five people that you currently have in your deck, obviously it's going to start with the golds, then go to the silver, then the bronzes. And within that, it starts with whatever the, um, the team standing of that gold player is. Uh, that's how it, it's ordered. So obviously you see your top five. Obviously I'm going to have a play now thing where you can 1v1 someone or, or do some type of tournament. And... Uh, you can use that, but right now it's not working. So obviously it's not working, but the function is going to be there. And then you can full uh, view your full collection. Obviously, this is my entire collection right now. I just opened like a couple of packs and I have two goals, a bunch of bronzes, a bunch of silvers. You can go back home. Obviously, you see your top five again. You can log out and then obviously you can open a pack. So if I open a pack, um, right now it's literally just one button to open the pack, but... Uh, for the the most part, we'll open it, and then it's a really cool um, little activity thing thing here. Uh, I couldn't get these colors to change to blue. I want them to, the card backs to be blue, but right now it's six cards that you can't see at the moment. You can press reveal all to reveal all of them at once, or you can like go one by one and reveal them. So we got Ken and Pred in the same pack, and a draws of bronze. So no silvers or gold, but we got all bronzes here. Um, if we wanted to, let's, I mean, just open up another pack just for, you know, just testing. Press reveal all, everything gets revealed at the same time, and you can do it that way. We got three silvers. So, honestly, a lot of it was just me grinding CSS last night, just to get it a little bit cooler on, on that end. But there's still some things that we can do in terms of making the cards cooler, making everything more functional. Uh, eventually, I want to get like the player uh, faces or something on it uh, to make it more personable. And the one thing that I was thinking of was possibly adding uh, a, like a trait to each card. So how the traits will work is the three traits that I had in mind were um, Slayer, OBJ, and Anchor. And the way that these would work is that based on the multiplier that you're gonna have so like obviously you're gonna have in your fantasy game you're gonna have kills you're gonna have obj and you're gonna have deaths so let's i mean you we could have more but just bear with me right here so kills so for slayer the slayer trait your kills will be impacted more with the multiplier for obj trait your obj will be impacted more with the multiplier and anchor trait your deaths will be multiply, uh, multiply more. So like you're, you're not losing as much for deaths if you have an anchor, if that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? So that's the initial trait idea I had, but we'll build off of that because I don't have the full depth knowledge of how we're going to like balance it and do everything. But for the most part, that's how, what I was thinking like traits would work. But that's the progress we have so far. Hey, Radiation, appreciate the sub. Three months, two months in a row. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Been working the last few streams. Is this going to be on the season matches like NFL Fantasy? So right now, it's just a concept. Uh, obviously, I don't know when I would actually be able to get this up and running. But it's a combination of, like, I would say Daily Fantasy. If you ever played it in uh, any sport. And Ultimate Team. I think it's a good combination of the two of those where the assets that you have are these cards. So that's the only 
basically the only way that's kind of like Ultimate Team, uh, but it's combined with, with Daily Fantasy because you're going up 1v1 against somebody else or in a tournament, and you're going to use a card, or sorry, a set of cards that you have versus another player and going head to head up against them. So based on the, the multipliers that you have, based on the players that you pick in your, your specific deck that you use, that's how it's gonna determine who wins and who loses. And obviously there's gonna be more nuance to it and how much you can put in a deck. Obviously I don't wanna have everyone just putting, you know, four gold cards because that's just, you know, boring. I wanna make sure that you're having to pick and choose your battles with who you pick and how you pick them. So every single card is gonna have a specific like power level. So obviously bronze cards are gonna have lower power, gold cards are gonna have more power. And every match that you play is going to have a specific power uh, cap or something like that. So you can't just put all gold cards or whatever. You're gonna have to pick mix and match uh, just to keep it as balanced as possible. These cards in the database right now, or are they hard coded as of now? Uh, they're they're all technically in a database assigned to a user, but all of these quote unquote you know players and teams are just inside the database. That are, I mean, I guess they're hard coded, but they're 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 inside the database, so they're I guess they're not really hard coded anymore. I hard coded them into the database via like an admin table. But other than that, that's how it works. So if anyone wants to start ripping a pack, just let me know and. We'll get your your account sorted if you don't have one already, and we'll start we'll start doing some viewer packs. I feel like having mul different multipliers for certain hills, like hill time plus plus plus, so you can have a gold card but not a lot of hill time. So a silver card would, with more hill time would be better. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was saying with the trait thing. So like if they have the OBJ trait, their hill time will be exposed to more of a multiplier for their points. I thought I got you, G Reaper. I'm pretty sure I did your 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 pack. Maybe you didn't see it. Let's see your, your username and if you have one. Yeah, see, I, I have your, your collection here. So you got a silver Tej, five bronzes, and uh, sure, we can open up another pack for you. You don't want bronze, but that's, that's the game. You don't know what you're going to get. All right, let's see what he gets. Should we reveal all or should we go one by one? Chad, what do you think? I think the one by one is a little bit more exciting, but let me know. Let me know what you guys think. One by one? Yeah, I think that puts a little bit of a... I don't know. It puts a little bit of drama into everything. All right, one by one. Should we go straight across or we do like in a little pattern? I guess I can ask the player. One by one better? All right, we'll just go down the line. Bronze Estriel, start. Bronze Johnny. And this is not looking good for your bronzes. Bronze Hook. Bronze Ghosty. We got a Silver Fame. Sil and uh, Bronze Joe Deceives. Two LET players in the pack. So now you can go to your collection. Obviously, you can see everything that you have now. That's a yikes pack. I'm not going to lie. Sorry. Sorry, G Reaper. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Radiation, you're getting another one. So Radiation's first pack, he had a gold Brezzy, he had a silver Beezy, uh, and a bronze Ken, silver Kleenex. Let's see, uh, let's see what he gets in the new pack. Silver Pelo to start, oh, we got no, no bronzes. Alright, Fame Bronze, Abuza, two silvers, Accuracy, Brezzy, three silvers in it. TJ, Abuza, and Fello. So obviously in this collection, what I'm going to eventually end up doing is like, filtering that so you can filter by team or filter by player filter by obviously rarity um i'm also kind of leaning towards not using the bronze silver gold thing because i feel like i i don't want to be copying ultimate team and it feels like that's more so copying so i kind of want to make it so it's like common rare legendary epic i feel like that's a cooler way to do everything plus that you can scale it better because then you could do like legendary and then you could do like um I don't know, player of the tournament, that type of thing. I feel like it scales better than bronze, silver, gold. It's a little bit more exciting. What about the rank colors? Ooh, that's not a bad idea. But I, but also, I don't want to be copying Call of Duty in case I want to, let's say, expand this to a different esport or even just regular sports, you know? But for now, or for God, 
I could do that technically. But I, I kind of, I kind of like the common, rare, uh, you know, like, what would you call it after? Common, rare, mythic, legendary, or something like that. What are, what are the, what is it? Common, rare, oh, epic, and legendary. Sharpner, what's good? Appreciate the sub. Two months. Goat? Okay. Wait, Sharpner, did you open a pack? I don't know if you opened a pack yesterday. I don't rec recognize your name from yesterday. So let's let's open up Shar Sharpner's pack. Oh, wait, I got to sign up. My bad. All right, so he hasn't opened his pack yet. So let's open his first pack. Silver Real, Bronze Joe Seas, Bronze Johnny, Silver Hook. Bronze Abuza, Bronze Caesar Skies. So at least you got one top four, but you got two silvers. Not bad. Better than a little, some, some people. You back in Texas? Yeah, I've been in Texas. What do I got to do for an account or just, this is just test stuff? This is just test stuff. So your, your next Telic would, will, uh, will get you in here. I'm literally just making everyone's password one, two, three. So, so I remember. <laughs> Bronze Vickle, Silver Kismet, Bronze Skies, Silver Sib, Bronze Clayster, Bronze Nasty. He got th three New York players in a row. That's crazy. And two of them silver. Common Green, Rare Blue, Epic Purple, Legendary Orange, Mythic Holographic. I actually like that. I was thinking Common might be gray because it's a little boring and you kind of want to upgrade from just boring. You know what I mean? But I like the, the rest of it. Blue, purple, orange, uh, holographic. All right, some guy named DJ, you're next. Silver flame, oh, first gold card of the day. Gold ghosty. Bronze vehicle, bronze attach, bronze nasty, bronze simp. You also got a, yeah, a number one team card. Not bad, not bad. All right, who, uh, who else? Blixton, you're next. Oops. Oh wait, no, you have to sign up. All right, first pack for him. Bronze Pista, Bronze Snoopy, Bronze Clayster, Bronze Lucky, Silver Nero, Silver Abuza. So you at least got the, the double silver at the end there, but it was looking bad at the beginning because obviously, like I was saying before, um, well, I didn't bring it up today, but the bronze cards obviously are the most common. And then the 12 to, I think it's 12 to eight teams. Let me check. Uh, where's my models page? Oh no, it's views, right? Yeah, 12 to 8 teams are all the most common for bronzes as well. Or, sorry, for just cards in general. So that's how the rarity system works right now. It's just bronzes are 75% chance, silvers are 20% chance, and a gold is a 5% chance. And then going to the team weightings, 12th to 8th place team is a 50% chance, 7th uh, to 5th place is 30%, and 4th to 1st is a 20%. Let me know if you guys like those rate, like weightings right now. I'm obviously just testing it out and just seeing how this works. Where can I look this up, JP? I saw it on Twitter, but don't know where to go. This is literally just in uh, development stage. I have, You can't even log into anything yet. I'm literally just doing it on stream for fun but eventually hopefully we'll get into some sort of like product or do something with it but right now i'm literally just using it to build up my knowledge for uh django which is the how i'm developing the website do you need help with the front end I, i'm i'm asking not for any help i know some people have, have reached out which i appreciate but i'm kind of using this more for uh, me just working on actually getting experience with it you go to school for comp side data science? No. 
I went to school for labor relations because I was expecting to go to law school. But I took a few, I took like two, I would say one and a half courses uh, of coding when I was at school, but most of it was just self-taught stuff. Whenever this gets to the point where you need graphics made, I want to get involved. All right, we'll, we'll do, man. Fourth wise man, you're going to pack. What's good, my guy? I don't know if you get, you got a pack yesterday. Let's check. Okay, we didn't sign you up yesterday. All right, fourth wise man's first pack. Bronze hook, bronze attach, bronze hydra. First hydra of the day. Silver Brandon. Two bronze hydras, actually. And then a bronze Gwyn. Bruce. Can we get a Bruce in the chat? Slay shot, you're next. Or sorry, wait, Jeffy RL, you're next. If I miss you, just type in the chat again, but obviously don't spam it. Bronzo 4, Bronze Linz, Bronze Major Maniac, Bronze Ghosty, Bronze Ghosty again. Bronze Johnny, no silvers. Sorry, my guy, Jeffy. That's an L pack, I'm not going to lie, Jeffy. No silvers, at least? Come on. I feel bad now. I, I, we'll open up another pack. All bronze is insane. Oh, there's a silver Hydra for you. Silver Bezzy. Bronze Abizi. All right, who's next? Slay shot. Chat, I, I'm not gonna lie. If you sub, I might open another pack for you and give you sub cheese, but that's not a promise. I'm fully joking, by the way. But who who are we doing? Oh, slay shot. Silver Vickel, Bronze Nero, Bronze Ghosty, Bronze Cremp, Bronze Medals, Bronze Fame. Jesus. Some people are getting hoed today. Confid, you're next. Did I sign you up yesterday? No, I didn't. Bronze Simp, not bad. Bronze Major Magic? Yeah. Major Maniac, Bronze 04, Silver Accuracy, Silver, or Bronze Diamond Con, Bronze Brezzy. At least got a, a number one C to Bronze. How do we get one? You just type in chat. Blood Chip, you're next, my guy. Shiasi says, all I'm saying, if you open me a pack, it's, I'm getting two goals. All right, you're next, Shiasi. Let me do a... Uh, let me do Blood Chip. Bronze Nasty, Bronze Fame, Bronze Diamond Con, Bronze Cremp. Oh, at least we got a silver. Silver Gunless, Silver Beans, so double silver. Shiasi, you're next. You said you're calling double golds? You're a sub, so I'll open two packs for you. Did I open you? No, I didn't eat you yesterday. Oh, the gold diamond contest start. Sub cheese chat. Bronze gunless. Silver standy. Double gold? Bro, he called... Dude, that's two times someone's called it. A double gold. Gold ghosty. Bronze abizi. Silver priesthood. That's a good ass pack. That's probably the second best pack we've, we've had so far. Opening these. Shiasi. That's sub cheese chat. Just so you know, sub cheese. We're opening the second one for him. Bronze Fame, Bronze Nasty, Bronze Lucky, Bronze Priesta, Bronze Priesta again. Three Bronze Priestas in a row. Three Bronze Pre-Dogs. His, his pack luck went all in, into one pack. Holy. All into one pack. Almond Sour, you're next, my guy.
Hey, blood trip with the sub. I'll get you with the second pack. All right, who is this? Almond Sour. Bronze Johnny. Ooh, silver simp card. Bronze Attach. Bronze Linge. Bronze Joe Deceives. Bronze Lucky. We'll do the. We'll do a blood trip. Blood trip second pack. He's going for revenge. Invalid username. What? Wait, why is that? Did I not do blood trip before? Oh, maybe there was a space after. Or maybe it was a space before. That's what it was, a space before. Okay, I got to edit that real quick. I'll do that after this pack. All right, blood trip. Silver fame, bronze accuracy, bronze simp, bronze kismet, bronze scrappy. First scrappy of the day. Bronze attach. So some high, high rated players, but all bronzes, unfortunately, for those. Yo, what's good, JP? Is this supposed to be like fantasy football, but for COD? What I was saying before, it's kind of like daily fantasy plus um, ult the, ult the concept of like cards from Ultimate Team. So using stat boost based on the cards and based on like the trait of the card to, to combine it with how the player does in the match. And you can like 1v1 people or go into a tournament and see how many points you score or something with, with your deck. Rainbow Eagle hit me with the reveal all cheese. I got you, man. Oh wait, first I gotta I gotta log into the administration and fix Blood Trip's name just so I don't forget. Uh oh. Okay. Uh Blood Trip. Yeah, there was a there was a space at the start of it. Interesting. Okay, glad we glad we got that situated though. This is why we test things out. All right, who was next? Rainbow Eagle. Ben Nickel the Nickel's the only, the progress is already insane, dude. I know. I was grinding this yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Rainbow Eagle, Bronze Lucky, Bronze 04, Bronze Attach, Bronze Lucky again, Bronze Beans, can we at least get a Silver? Silver Abizi, you'll take that. That's that's a good card. That was close to being some, some full Bronze Cheese though. How does the match feature work? So right now what I'm thinking is you have a specific power level or like max power. So every card's gonna have a power, right? So based on, obviously, um, the, the rarity, maybe the, the team level, maybe even the player level, we'll see, based on the stats, they're going to have a specific power level, and the match is going to be something like you can only have a max power level of 10. So you have to create your deck with the amount of cards that you can for a 10 level deck, and that's it. So you can't just stack it with all golds or whatever. Maybe you can put some golds in and place and place them out or depending on how much a gold card is worth obviously we haven't figured that out yet uh you can put in one maybe and you know surround it by bronzes and silver or something like that so that's that's how it's going to work and you would face off against another person so it's balanced so both teams have a max power level imagine if there was an ios app for this that's i mean eventually the plan if i end up getting it fucking running Right now, it's literally just a, a concept. Oh, wait, Rainbow Eagle. I didn't even use the reveal all cheese that you asked for. That's my bad, dude. We'll do another pack for you because I didn't do a reveal all. Oh, and it, it hits him with the full bronze. At least he got the bronze cell and the bronze simp. And bronze kismet because that's a top four team as well. You have to change up the framework. You've been using iOS unless Django has updated support iOS. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Django has support on iOS, so I'd have to change things up, obviously, but. Yo, what's up, Thick Syrup? What's up with this Aiden Warzone team? I, dude, I do not pay attention to Warzone. I'm not gonna lie, chat. 
Warzone's not my thing. I have zero clue about Warzone. All right, Kinder Season, you're next. Oh, wait, sign up. Bronze, oh, first AG of the day. Bronze Pred, Bronze Sib, so two top fours. Bronze Linz, Bronze Geo, Bronze 04, Bronze Major Maniac, full bronze cheese. I'll hit you with the with another just because it's a full bronze cheese. Silver Priest said, there's your silver. Bronze Nasty, Bronze Cramp, Bronze Abizi, Silver Snoopy, Bronze Dimecon. It was a stacked bronze list though. You're right. So then, yeah, obviously you can go home. You see your level, you see your top five. It lists your top five in order. You can view the full collection if you want to. And uh, eventually we'll get like your recent matches that you played and you can play in the arena. I don't know how, I don't know if you would like the idea, but what if we include the season like World War II Ken or IW Formal Imagine? Yeah, the only thing with that is I don't know how that will work because technically it's daily fantasy. So like Formal isn't playing. So I don't know how an IW Formal card would work. You see what I'm saying? So like World War II Ken card, maybe that could work. But I, again, I don't know how it would, I guess it would just be a cosmetic thing. Or maybe it affects some type of trait or stat on his card if it's a World War II Ken. But again, that's something we can think about and figure out later down the line. Collectibles instead for past players. Could do team of the major, etc. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Like uh It'll be like team of the tournament or something, but it'll be instead of I, I don't even want to I mean, I guess we could call it team of the tournament, but it'll be a, a like a legendary or a mythic level level card but again i don't know how how am i going to balance a mythic level card is it just going to be it's just an insane high power level and i guess people with decks that have insane higher power levels will go up against each other and that's that's the only way you'd be able to do it i guess so hey it's kite appreciate the sub two months what's good jp it's kite what's good is that you're about to get two packs my guy. Bronze medals, silver vickle, bronze hook, bronze accuracy, silver flames, silver accuracy. So we got three silvers, not bad. And then we get a second pack. Bronze clayster, silver geo, bronze geo, silver TJ Halley, silver Bruce, bronze Brezzy. That's a lot of silvers. That's six silvers and two packs. Hey, Mike 1349, you're up next, my guy. Bronze Cramp, Bronze Kleenex, so not a bad bronze. Priesta, Silver Clayster, Bronze Scrappy, Bronze Cramp. They could just be like a holographic variant so it doesn't actually affect the scores. Yeah, but it, it should also... I don't know, you should be rewarded for getting a better... a better, uh, you know, version of them. Or technically, let's say it's during the week after that, that tournament. Maybe there's a specific time window where you can upgrade your, let's say, gold cards of that player into that specific team of the tournament you know, scrappy or whatever. I was just looking at scrappy. But like, let's say you have, let's say you have 10 gold scrappies at during the week after there's a specific window where you can upgrade your 10 gold scrappies for a team of the tournament scrappy. You see what I mean? That's how I want to upgrade, be, be able to upgrade your, your cards. So in, in essence, like a bronze card is still worth something because you can upgrade those to silvers and then upgrade those to golds, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? Can I get a second pack? Yeah, you, I don't think we got you today. We had you yesterday, Mira, but I got you with today. Why 
So uh, yesterday, it was a six bronze pack, but they got AG, Ghosty, Fame, Abuza, Brezzy, Gwyn. Let's open up another one. Bronze Nero, first silver, Priesta, bronze clay, bronze hook, bronze lucky, silver cramp, double silver at least. So the, the idea is that the silvers, no matter how, you know, good that player or, you know, bad that team is, it's always going to be a better than a bronze player in terms of the multiplier. So silver players are always more valuable than bronzes, or at least that's what my like thinking should be. Did I make this? Yeah. But again, it's, it's very, very basic right now. It's literally just collection and opening packs. I don't have anything to do with actual 1v1s or playing AI or something. Or, or actually like improving your level or even the upgrading thing that we were talking about. What if it showed worst cards first and best at the end? Uh, you, in terms of what, the collection? I feel like... I feel like the best should go first, no? Isn't that? I feel like that's like your prized possessions, right? So you want to see them at the top. I was thinking about that yesterday, though, but I decided to order them. And then obviously you get your top five here at your homepage, so you see your top five. I feel like a bronze simp would be better than like a silver magic, though, right? I I don't I don't agree. I feel like it eventually like I, I feel like a bronze simp it will it will still produce results because obviously he's a good player but i feel like the multiplier shouldn't be able to do it it should it should be more powerful for a silver player if that makes sense that way silver players from any team are viable if you're in like a, a low cap uh let's say like power level tournament but I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think about that? Because I I'm really having trouble thinking about the balancing for this with that. What if it show worst cards first and best? Oh, in terms of the color when you're opening packs. Um. Hmm. I do like the fact that like you can get a good thing to start and then you're you're waiting to see. If you get another good thing you see what i'm saying like with that i like the in my opinion i like the surprise with everything in terms of you know just because you get a gold at the start that technically means you can get you know six gold or five golds after that but if you you didn't open if you just open the bronze to start you know that there's a maximum like five golds after that if 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 anything right like you think you know what i'm saying All right, V-Nevy, let's get you. I don't know. I think you we did your cards yesterday. Let me see if you have an account. Oh, no. Ne never mind. You don't. All right. Let's get V-Nevy's pack. Bronze 04, Bronze Nasty. Oh, gold card, gold flames. Bronze Diamond Con, Bronze Abuza, Bronze Lucky. So at least we got a gold in there. It could be a multiplier cap, so whatever the last status recorded for a player with a 10%. So whatever the last status recorded for a player with a 10% if the card is silvered. I don't get what you... Try and rephrase that because I'm not understanding right now. It could be a multiplier cap, so whatever. Or what we could do is technically we could just have... What we were talking about with the traits yesterday, we could technically just have one trait per player. So this is the, the gold flames OBJ, you know, card. And he will only get points or multipliers for OBJ. You see what I'm saying? That's that's a possibility too. Hey, what's up, Yixi? Yixi, I don't know if you got packs yesterday, but you gifted some subs. You gifted six subs. I'm giving you seven packs. We're going to go hard on, on Yixi's pass because of the, the gifted subs yesterday. All 
or maybe bonus multiplier for OBJ stats. That that's what my original thought process was. That's what I was saying at the at the beginning of the stream. I think I think that's what we're gonna do, but we'll see. Maybe it's just you know just OBJ in general. They just only get OBJ points, but I think I think having everything is good, and then having a specific multiplier for that trait. But you still get points for everything else. All right, let's let's rip seven for Yixi. Bronze hook, silver flame, silver medals, silver brezzy, silver insight, four silvers in a row. Bronze brezzy, not bad. Second one, hook, simp, accuracy, beans, Kyler again, Johnny, Vickle, Bruce, silver Johnny. Bronze Fame, Bronze Abuza, Bronze Geo. Come on, we gotta at least get one goal for Yixi here. Silver AG, Bronze Ghosty, Silver Cremp, Bronze Ghosty, Bronze AG, Bronze Major Maniac. What is that, 4 chat? Bronze Bruce, Bronze Johnny, Bronze Ghosty, Bronze Fellow, Bronze Fame, Bronze Fellow. Rip, full Bronze Pack. Bronze Diamond Con, Bronze Attach, Bronze Real, Silver Gunless, Bronze Beans, Silver Flames. Bronze Scrappy, Major, TJ, Fellow, Attach, Brezzy. I don't know how we're at, how much we're at, but I'll open it one more just in case. Bronze Diamond Con, Bronze Ant. That's the first Shotzi card we have today. Silver Priesta, Bronze Major Maniac, Bronze 04, Bronze Beans. No gold. Uh, here, I'll, I'll open one more pack. One more pack. Hopefully we get a gold here. Bronze Geo. Bronze Metals. Bronze Envoy. Bronze Cramp. Bronze Flames. Bronze AG. A lot of Optic guys. Unfortunately, no golds. Holy shit. How do we earn or get packs? You just type in the chat. Lurk, you're up next, my guy. What's the percentage for a gold? It's 5%. So it's actually pretty low. So there's been two people that have gotten two golds in one pack. And that shit is insane to me. I don't know how they pulled it off. And both of them called it before in the chat. Which is insane. Bronze Geo. Bronze Estrial. Bronze Kiz. Bronze Accuracy. Bronze Priesta. Bronze Lens. Full bronze pack. I'll, I'll open one more. It's the full bronze cheese. Diamond Con. Beans. There's a, there's a silver, Caesar, Draza, Metals. Vidrian or Adrian, however you're pronouncing your name, you're next. What is this song in the background, by the way? Bronze Gunless, Bronze 04, Silver Nero, Bronze Accuracy, Bronze 04, Bronze BZ. At least you got the BZ Bronze and a, and a Silver Nero. Morpheus, can I get a pack I have assigned in from yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Here's your daily here's your daily pack. I guess we'll do daily packs then. So Morpheus, yesterday, he had a Silver Fellow, Bronze Flame, or Fame, Estrial, Jodeci's, Metals, Major Maniac. Let's see if we can get his first gold here. Silver Accuracy, Bronze Attach, Silver 04, Bronze 04, Silver Snoopy, Gold Clayster. Three silvers and a gold. That's insane. That's a good pack. Is Aiden trolling? Did you see his tweet? I don't, I don't know what Aiden tweeted. What do you tweet? What's with all this Warzone drama, bro? Whatever. Oh, Lyric, appreciate the sub, my guy. We'll get we'll get another uh, pack open for you. I see I see the tweet. Thanks for linking it, Yixi. I don't know why it, it keeps banning people for that. Aiden Scump formal for Warzone. I don't know if it's a troll or a real. <laughs> All right, let's get a uh, let's get lyric his his other pack. Or lurk, sorry, not lyric. So he had the skies, metals, silvers, bronze draza, 
Oh, he actually had the... That was the one with the first full bronze pack. So he got this guy's in metal silver. Let's see if he can get into his third pack. Bronze Snoopy. Bronze Snoopy again. Silver Brezzy. Bronze Geo. Bronze 04. Bronze Hook. We'll get one more for you. There's your gold Johnny. First gold card. So yeah, I just obviously like the gold cards are going to be really rare. Because right now, I want to make sure that we're like basically upgrading two gold cards. I don't know how that how much that is, but it's like you're upgrading two. Uh, what's it called? You're upgrading two silvers. You're upgrading two golds. Hey, Yixi with the tier or the the five gifted tier ones. Appreciate that, my guy. Yixi, you're getting another five packs. Or six packs, well, one for one for good luck. Yixie with the he's trying to go for the sub cheese golds. I I I respect it. And then we'll do one for each of the people that got the gifted. Bronze Lucky, Silver Flames, Bronze Joe, Bronze 04, Bronze Nero, Bronze Joe. We gotta get a gold for Yixie. Let's do a reveal all cheese. Reveal all. There's your, your first gold, and you got a, two Brandon bronzes as well. Gold Geo. So that's two. Bronze Lucky. Bronze Ghosty. Oh, another gold. Gold Estriel. Bronze Fame. Bronze TJ. Gold Standy. Double gold pack. There's your sub cheese right there. How many was that, chat? Three? Or four? Whatever. Bronze Priesta. Silver Skies. Brezzy. Gwyn. Oh, Silver Ant. Bronze medals. Bronze attach. Vickle flames. Silver standy. Silver medals. Bronze beans. We'll do one more. Fuck it. I don't know. I lost count. Silver simp. Ooh, that's a good card. Bronze 04. Bronze major. Bronze Caesar. Bronze Joe. Bronze hook. Look at the collection for EXE. The three golds. Simp, insight, pred, shotzi. Skies are his top four silvers. Anyone pull gold optic players? Um, in my testing, I pulled a gold AG, but I don't remember if someone did. I'm not going to lie. I can probably look in the back end to see if someone pulled it. I, I forgot though. All right, let's do one for each one of the people that, uh, if they, if you got gifted, type in the chat. Cause if, if they're not like here, I don't want to do it for them. But if they, if they come into the chat, I'll, uh, I'll do it. Uh, any viewers that didn't get one today, type in the chat. Let me know. Holy shit, Yixi. Bro. He's just, just continuously gifting subs. Holy fuck. Wixie in the chat with another five gifted. Thank you, my guy. What the hell? I appreciate you, man. We got to get another six for, for Yixi. Because he's just dropping the gifted left and right. What the fuck? All right. Here, here's the uh, first one. Bronze Attach, Silver Standy, Bronze Scrappy, Bronze Kleenex, Gold Paco, Silver Cell, Gold Paco. That's the first Gold Paco we pulled. That's a that's a bang pack right there. Second one, Vickle, Joe, Fame, Beans, Silver Kleenex, Bronze 04. 100T Hydra Gold, Intel, Intel. That was two. This is the third one. Silver Simp. Bronze Estrial. Bronze Envoy. Silver Fellow. Bronze Accuracy. Fourth one. Bronze Simp. Gold Abizi. Here's where the sub cheese starts coming in. Bronze Kleenex. Gunless. Abuza. You got a, a gold Abizi and a gold Paco. Damn. And the same one. That was worth the, the five gifting, huh? You see it? No, I'm kidding. And we still have, what, two more packs? Vickle, Joe, Kleenex, Skies, Gold, Linz, Bronze Fame. He's taking the... Linz is... Or, sorry. Uh, Yixi's taking the, the gold cheese, bro. He's been landing a bunch of golds these last few. Last one. 
Bronze Caesar, Hook, Silver Ken, Bronze Gwyn, Silver Lucky, Bronze Insight. Let's take a look at the collection. The the BZ and Hydra, those are the technically these are the two most rare right now. Uh or technically the most rare is a gold top four team. So the two two of those are at the highest rarity right now. Crafting a dangerous team. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to ask you guys. In terms of the playing one-on-one -on -one, head-to-head, -head, do you think it should be role-based? Like you have to include two subs and two ARs? Or do you think you should just be whatever four players you think should uh, is going to, to do the best? What do you guys think? Because I don't want to limit people, but I also want to make, make sure it's like obviously harder to craft a team, you know? And in that case, I would have to make it so that starter packs would always give at least two ARs and two subs. Two subs, two AR, rolls better. I bet. I don't know how I we'll want to do flex, because like, technically flex can just be a sub who runs an AR. Right? Like, in the last two games, it's basically been a sub who runs an AR too. Or at least in like Modern Warfare 2, I guess. Last game, it was just 2-2 two -two anyway. Uh, except for the beginning of the year. That's when you saw the, the subs be flexes. Flex. Oh, that's an interesting way to, to put it. So maybe technically everyone has a flex card, but they could be used in a sub uh, role or an AR role. Or you think it should just be mainly used for people that actually have pulled out both. I think I think that the having the flex trait is cool. So you could technically have like an insight or a dashy flex and you could put them in a sub category. Those would be the, the rarest, obviously, but JP, what the fuck is this? Bro, this is a little fantasy game that I created. Hey, JP's getting a pack, bro. JP's getting two packs. Let's see what you pull, my guy. Bronze Major, Bronze Priesta, Bronze Abuza, Bronze Vickel, Bronze Clay. Wow, the absolute bronze cheese for JP. Bro, you stink. What the hell? Not even a silver? We're opening up, we're opening up another pack. Silver Major, there's your silver. Oh, Gold Kyler, there's your gold for you. Bronze Major, Bronze Gwyn, Bronze Lucky, and a Silver Simp. 